Hello everyone, let us continue with our discussion. So in this lecture, we are going to start a new topic. Give the heading climate models. Climate models. And climate models and scenario analysis. Scenario analysis. Now see the story kind of stuff is over now. Now we are entering into something which is more realistic, more practical stuff, which is going around us. It sounds technical when I will use the word models or when I'll use the word technical analysis, but by the end of the whole topic, you will become familiar with it and you will clearly understand that what it means and why it is important for the companies, banks, and even the government clear now first question which comes to the mind of the students are what is what is what is scenario analysis what is scenario analysis see scenario analysis is like you are saying sir what if stories about the future means imagine you are planning about your career like what if i'll pass cfa what i what if i'll pass scr what if i don't what if i'll pass and the economy is weak what if i fail but the economy was strong i'll miss the opportunity so you will create different picture of the future so that you can prepare yourself accordingly and you can take the action clear Similarly, the companies and the financial institution did do the same thing for the climate risk. Clear? So scenario analysis means, first of all, you will create the stories. First of all, you will create the stories and then with the stories, you will do the data modeling. That, sir, okay, my building will be flooded. How much part of it will be submerged into the water? What will be the impact of it? My business will stop. My operations will stop. Uh, some of my inventories will get uh, rotten. I cannot use them. Some of my furniture will get wasted. I need to get it new. So these all are my investment clear. So for that, I need to prepare the data models clear. Now the second point, sir, why to use the climate scenarios? Why to use climate? scenario sir why to use the climate scenario see climate is something uncertain we don't know exactly what will happen how much the temperature will rise what policy government will adopt how fast the company will move to the renewable energy so instead of just guessing one future we will prepare for many possible future options clear what can happen now this will handle us uh, this will actually help us to handle two types of risk transition risk and your physical risk transition risk as well as physical risk transition risk means what you are shifting from a low uh, from a very high carbon world to a very low carbon world like if what if uh, tomorrow india will ban the petrol car now company will face a very big risk they have a huge amount of inventories uh, in their stockyard with the cars with the trucks with the buses which are purely running on petrol and diesel now no one will purchase it because indian government have banned it clear so that's a possible uh, possibility of the risk similarly physical risk risk which is coming from the actual climate event flood heat waves your storms which are damaging the properties crop supply chain so these are the scenarios and then accordingly you have to manage clear so for this we need the climate scenarios and the one answer to this is climate change is uncertain sir why i need the climate scenario sir because climate is uncertain uncertain i cannot predict it what will happen after uh, 10 minutes 20 minutes or what will happen after two days how much it is going to rain okay how much my area will be flooded it's very hard it's very uh, next to impossible to actually identify that it is difficult clear so here is the need to actually plan to design the scenarios to uh, to actually create the story so this can happen clear now coming to the third point 
ग्लोबल रेफरेंस ग्लोबल रेफरेंस सिनेरियोस ग्लोबल रेफरेंस सिनेरियोस सी साइंटिस्ट्स एज वेल एज द पॉलिसी मेकर्स ओके दे हैव प्रिपेयर्ड सम स्टैंडर्ड सिनेरियोस क्लियर नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन सपोज आई एम अ टीचर I have to teach you the SCR, but what if I don't have the books? Then I have to teach you everything. I have to invent, start preparing the index, then the topic, and then I have to teach you. But now the things are easier for me. Why? Because the institute have prepared the book. I have to teach that. Similarly, the company they don't have to invent the things from the scratch. So, uh, sir, I am uh, actually running a company, and I want to do the. scenarios okay i want to plan the scenarios but i don't want to invent them from scratch so can you tell me the famous one famous scenarios which are globally used and everyone is trusting those uh, scenarios so the one is ipcc scenario ipcc scenarios clear it includes two scenarios number one is rcp and the second one is ssp we are going to cover each and everything in detail so don't worry about it what is rcp it is representative concentration pathway means it tells you about the greenhouse gas concentration levels greenhouse gas concentration concentration level okay ssp means what it is a shared socio economic pathway what it actually uh, design or include it actually how the society and the economist might develop okay write down see all these are going to be explained in detail when i'll teach you the respective topics but now it's just a summary of the topic going on so that you will see that okay these are the things going to be covered up. but their internal meaning will be covered when i'll going to teach you in detail okay how societies and economies and and economies might develop means they are talking about the future okay means uh, how humans will behave socially and economically so this this is a specific scenario and rcp is telling you that how much carbon will be in the atmosphere so scenarios are both different one is about the, really about the climate secondly is about the human behavior how they are going to change socially economically health wise and multiple factors are also there okay second is i e a that is international energy agency international international energy agency international energy agency it's like scenarios about how we are going to use the energy whether it is a renewable energy or whether it is a fossil fuels okay their uh, way of use how it will be utilized over the given period clear and apart from that there are some uh, minor such agencies and scenarios like one is a green peace green peace then another example is irena i r e n a clear then we have n g f s clear these are for financial institutions financial institutions these are for financial institutions so this is how i am going to get the scenarios which are required for my organization clear so that i don't have to develop each and everything from the very <coughs> basics clear now fourth point which we are going to cover up in this topic is how transition risk is modeled how transition risk is modeled how transition risk is modeled see over here we are going to use a method clear or you can say model that is iam iam integrated assessment models integrated assessment 
models clear now this model actually combines three aspects this model combines three aspect number one is economics economics second is society society and third one is environment third one is environment society economics and environment for example means if uh, carbon tax uh, taxes will increase clear then iem is a model which will show that how the industry will be affected and how energy mix will use means if suppose a uh, government will put a charge on the carbon so a company who is actually using 80% of coal and 20% of solar energy after the carbon tax this mix of energy will change suppose this will become 40 and this will become 60 so this will tell you about that how these changes are going to impact the organization in all the possible manner and most importantly financially clear now the way we are modeling the transition risk we are also going to model the physical risk point number five that how physical risk is modeled how physical risk how physical risk is modeled how physical risk is modeled see we are going to use the climate model that can simulate the rainfall temperature storms rising sea level okay cyclones we need to simulate that means we need to predict these things clear so first of all we have a short term goals like till 2050 for the next 25 years so physical risk don't change much between the scenarios okay like uh, in the next 20 30 years the floods and the heat waves you won't find a huge difference the difference will come over a century like uh, because see temperature is increasing by say 0.5 percent over a given 30 years so it's something which you cannot measure very effectively in a very short term period clear so short term planning is more about uh, resilience to be preparedness for anything which is coming in a very short term like a flood so you have to prepare for that but in the long run it's not about flood it's your city which is fully submerged into the water then how you plan for it are you getting my point so short term is something where you can prepare yourself that how you can safeguard yourself from these time, kind of things clear so physical risk is like i want to simulate all the events of the weather clear now point number six the last point which we have to cover in this reading is how actually corporates how corporates how corporates use use scenario analysis how corporate use scenario analysis see the companies which are non-financial they use it for business strategy and then they talk to the uh, stakeholders whether it is investors regulators or employees like uh, an airline that actually checks uh, what will happen if there is a carbon tax will increase how it is going to impact them financially clear but financial firms like banks asset manager insurance companies they use it for their portfolio risk management they, they will check which investment are at risk because see airline company cannot change their business they have to remain in the airlines so they have to come up with an alternative but a portfolio management suppose i'm managing a portfolio so now i see that i have coal india ongc and uh, oil india clear 20 percent of my uh, investment is in these three stocks what i'll do i'll remove them and i'll add new clear so i'll use it for portfolio risk management i'll use it for stress testing like what will happen to the portfolio if the climate policy will change suddenly okay or portfolio selection while choosing the companies which are uh, climate friendly clear so i'll use that now not only about the financial companies or financial firms non-financial companies also the regulators like uh, security exchange commission in the us now they are also asking the companies to disclose how well resilient they are to the climate changes means if the climate will change how well they protect themselves how well they can protect their investments their resources 
to their employees to their company to the supply chain each and everything clear okay so let us keep this much in this lecture and we'll continue from the very beginning from the first lecture itself thank you